Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out this week's latest dev channel and beta channel insider preview builds with the update KB5065797. So just a look at what Microsoft is testing for Windows 11 25H2 and 24H2 in these latest preview builds. Now, the first new feature comes as no surprise because once again, Microsoft is focusing on Copilot plus PCs where there is now image object select in click to do, which is only available on Copilot plus PCs, as you may well know. And I do apologize for the quality of these images, but that's what Microsoft gave us from the release notes. Now, image object select in click to do, Microsoft says is designed to help you speed up your creative flow, they are saying, and precisely select objects within images. Microsoft says you would just hover over your image to preview selectable areas. Once selected, you can then copy and paste your object into other apps or use it to kick off a chat with Copilot for deeper insights or creative actions. And then something else Microsoft is rolling out for click to do is new unit conversion. where Microsoft mentions it's introducing the ability to do unit conversion in click to do to help you quickly access conversions for number plus unit combinations displayed on screen. Currently, Microsoft says it primarily support conversions for length, area, volume, weight, temperature, and speed. So what you would do is when you hover over a number plus unit, a floating tooltip appears showing the conversion, as we can see in the image provided. And when you select the number plus unit, the context menu opens with additional conversion options. And Microsoft says you can also access more conversions via the Copilot app currently supported in Microsoft Copilot. Just take note, this capability is not yet available for Windows insiders in the EEA or China. So that's new unit conversion in click to do for Copilot plus PCs. And then moving on to the next, Windows Allow Enhanced Security. Windows Allow Enhanced Signing Security now supports peripheral fingerprint sensors, according to Microsoft, and once again, not the best image quality. ESS, as it's also known, was only available on PCs with built-in biometric sensors, but now Microsoft says, Windows 11 PCs, including desktops and Copilot Plus PCs, can benefit from this new feature. So what you would do is you would just plug in a supported ESS fingerprint reader, head to Settings, Accounts, Sign in options and follow the prompts to enroll. And Microsoft has also rolled out a change for the Windows setup experience. And for this, I'm just going to head to the release notes because it can get quite confusing for your average Joe, so to speak. Microsoft has said that the ability to name your default user folder in the out of box experience is now available, where you can now customize the name of your default user folder during setup and then to do so you would follow these steps and you can just pause the video at this timestamp if this is something you would like to try out and you are running one of those builds and basically your default user folder if we just head into the file explorer as an option yeah you'll see here's your default user folder so that's what microsoft is referring to you can now rename that in the out of box experience which i actually think is a nice move and then while we are talking about the file explorer, there's now dark mode for different elements, which we have been featuring on the channel from time to time, where Microsoft says it's now made improvements to the dark mode experience in file explorer, starting with key actions like copy, move, and delete dialogues. You'll now see a consistent dark mode experience in, number one, the default and expanded state of copy, move, and delete dialogues. Number two, progress bars and chart views. Number three, dialogues for confirming states like skip override and file selection. And number four, multiple confirmation and error dialogues. And I think this is a nice move, just collating the white and the dark theme to kind of marry the two together now and, and bring more consistency regarding dark mode in some of those legacy aspects of the OS. And I think that's been a highly requested feature and is definitely a nice move in the right direction.
And then over and above those new features and improvements for the Devon Beta channel for this week, guys, we get fixes and then we get a couple of known issues because we are still in preview and those are expected. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.